Hey guys, today we are going to create the new location in Fortnite Season 3, Coral Castle, with real water. Lay claim. Ah, the past days have been incredible hot and I thought it would be time to create Coral Castle, the new location in Fortnite Season 3, aka Atlantis, which it is not. This is the blueprint and I'll use a baking sheet as the underneath layer because we will play with some water in today's tutorial, but at first we will focus on the clay part, the polymer clay part, to build all the different islands and also to create this castle in the middle, the coral castle. And this is some old used and dried clay. I'm keeping this for special occasions like this one. I can use all this old clay now as the underground structure for this whole location because there is something special about this place. It is underneath the water level and I try to simulate this by using a water pump but I'll tell and show you later more about this. So we will... <laughs> still use some old clay we have this stair this tiny step on the left side we have five different islands also the shark island which i created some while ago would be on the right side but as i already have created this island i decided to keep it out out of this creation and also, besides this location, we recently got some new content in Fortnite. We now have the cars. At least I think you can now use them. I haven't played for like three or four days because, well, I was just watching my replays to get this place right. <laughs> which I am creating right now. And then we have some amazing new skins. I love Dummy. Please write down in the comments that you want to see Dummy. <laughs> I would be more than happy to make a funny project out of this. So we can put the clay aside. Don't worry, I'll keep it for, fur for future projects. And we start mixing the beautiful colors, which is this green, dark blue and ochre and we get this beautiful color and I will use this, let's call it, call it ocean green for all the outlines around the islands. When you, when you imagine we are flying over these islands with a helicopter, you will see that there is an outline, a brighter outline around each island. And this is when the water gets, um, when the water gets a little bit shallow, when you step onto the beach, the water color mixes more and more with the under underground color of the sand of the beach. And this is why the blue of the water is mixing with the, with, the, with the yellow of the sand and we get this beautiful green. Then we have some wet sand which is more brown, brownish and then the dried sand which is really bright. So I'll make sure to all to, to mix all these different components um, to make an authentic look for all the islands. Now this is the ground layer of our hole where we will place Coral Castle on top. It's just a very thin layer of clay. And we also have some sand banks swimming, floating in this area. This is the step, the stair, 
the waterfall stair, the cascading waterfall, and hopefully this will work with water when I use real water. This is our shark gray, <laughs> not the dolphin gray, it's shark gray. Watch the shark video and then you'll know why. So we will place the gray clay underneath to simulate all the rocks for the different islands. And I thought while creating these islands, I want to make it as accurate as possible and to simulate nature. And this means I would start by using the gray for the rocks and then adding the sand around. And later a very thin layer of green clay for the grass. And somehow you will feel, you will see the form underneath from the rocks and hopefully this looks just accurate, it looks very authentic, but well, <laughs> we'll see. By the way, the soundtrack in the background, it's Choral Chorus, which you'll probably recognize from the game. And today in the studio, while I was finishing this creation and Andy was doing was cutting this video, we thought, oh, okay, there is a one hour edition, a one hour video of this song. Let's, let's, let's enjoy this. <laughs> I think, uh, well, it was a tough time. The, the first 15 minutes, it was like, ah, ah, I, I know, stop it. The second quarter, the second 15 minutes, were like, ah, okay, there are some new nuances to this song I haven't heard before. Oh, okay, there's a beautiful guitar in the background. Oh, look at that. Then the third quarter would be, well, in the, in the third quarter you would almost like forget about the song and focus on what you were doing. And in the fourth quarter, you realize that you are still listening to this song, <laughs> the one hour edition, and that it is really beautiful, a great song, and well, suddenly the song is over because it was the, the one hour edition. And Andy and I, and we haven't told anyone in the studio yet, um, all the other guys are on vacation right now. We are planning to make a one hour repeat Friday. This means every Friday we would choose one song and just listen to it. And um, yeah, <laughs> let's see who will enjoy this or win or lose. Some weeks ago we listened to the Lord of the Rings taking the hobbits to Isengard. Probably you'll not know this when you're younger, but you should definitely look this up on YouTube. They are taking the hobbits to Isengard, the song. There is also a 10 hour edition, by the way. You, sh you should check this out. Okay, <clears throat> but back to the creation, to the sculpting part, because in the meantime, we have done a lot of landscape sculpting and shaping. We have brought in a lot of outlines. This is what I was talking about before. And now we are adding some tiny details. We started with this process. This will be a stone, a stony way, a beautiful pattern made by the people of Atlantis. <coughs> I mean, Coral Castle. And then we have this space where we will put the coral castle on top. I'm just adding some sand details that the edges between the ochre and the gray doesn't look too sharp. And this will be the first building. This is coral castle and it's the ground floor of Coral Castle. This is the way I created most of the tiny, tiny miniature buildings on my Fortnite maps. 
because it's a good way to to work your your way up. Um, I did that also to locations like uh, the agency, for example, a very complicated building. But when you start at the ground floor and then going up first floor and so on, it makes it way more easy. We have two tiny pools. Oh, I would love to have a pool right now. It is really, really hot. <laughs> yeah, it is. Well, this, um, this afternoon we have been to my aunt's place and aunt and uncle and they were kind enough to put up a paddling pool um, <laughs> intended for the kids but well <laughs> I enjoyed it also a lot because again it was really really hot now as I'm doing the voiceover it is really late um, almost night <laughs> and it's still really really hot I enjoy this atmosphere right now a lot. The windows are wide open. We have some air circulation, circulation going. A little bit of, well, I wouldn't say wind. But, well, there is some moving air and it's really nice. So, these are all the beautiful details we are adding to Coral Castle, especially the golden um, the golden dome part on the roof. This is what I really liked. Then we have the six columns or stone figures standing right there. We have another building also with this bright blue and golden roof with two domes and we can place it onto our map as well. Both buildings are connected by this stony way. And then we have this tower right on top of this tiny rock. Which also looks quite beautiful. Another building. And the second one, also very tiny one, goes there. We have a tiny bridge. The ar architectural... Is it, is it pronounced this, this way? architectural the ar architectural design of these buildings um, is really beautiful it's part part of it what I like um, is the color color choice we have bright blue we have golden clay and ochre but also this um, shape with the dome design, a lot of stone figurines standing around. So yeah, this is the way the way what I would say Atlantis would look like. So we are working our way up. We are coating the landscape, the islands with a very, very thin layer of green clay. We are getting in some ve vegetation and even more important than the grass on the ground will be the palm trees which we will create after oven hardening because then we can glue all these beautiful palm trees onto the map by using my super glue. Yeah, I'm just adding, not randomly. <laughs> uh, you can see I have the blueprint on the left side. I am adding some dark spots because the grass isn't green everywhere. We have some dry places, especially where we have a lot of trees. We have these dark spots. And this will, will also be the island where the broken plain will be located, at least some parts of it. So I make sure to damage the surface of the landscape, of the grass, because I was just imagining how this plane is going down and crashes down on the island. One wing is lying on the island, the other one is going down to the, well, to the area where the buildings are located. And then we have some further stones lying around and some further buildings, some um, huts, tiny huts, 
this is a way up to this beautiful, beautiful building, which looks like a gigantic shell. And we will create this as well, of course. We have another tower, which is located right here. And this is the first two huts. Yeah, it's a really, really small scale. I'm not really sure if you can get a feeling for the scale. This is a wooden statue, tiny figurine, which we will put right there. I will create some further of, the, of these, but, um, well, I don't really have to show you. <laughs> it's quite boring. This is the, the shell hut, which I was talking about. We are mixing this bright pink and put it on top of a white thin layer. And now we can put it, well, creating the roof, which is going up like a starfish somehow. And then we have some further layers going to the top. Now the color changed. Now we have the pink underneath and the white on top. And this will be also repeated for the next levels of this building. And then we have some crazy tiny thorns, which I also wanted to include on, on this building, on this roof. And now that it is placed, we can work on this stone and also this tiny boat, uh, which has a tiny uh, pirate flag, <laughs> which I totally forgot about. I now realize this, so. <laughs> so welcome on board. We are just adding some tiny details. Not 100% accurate, but for most of the parts, for the most important details, I just wanted to bring the color in. We have a mast, I'm using a paper clip for this, and now the boat is almost finished. We have this tiny dish and put it onto this tiny hill of blue clay. Hopefully this will disappear as soon as the water is floating around. This is a broken hut with a lot of stones. And now this will be the tiny plane. <laughs> this is dark green grass green. I um, used this a lot for, I think for the Rainbow Six Siege models because it looks like the navy color, the navy green. This is the front of the plane, the crashed plane, and all the different segments which are scattered around. We have one wing and the other one will go into the water. And we have the back fin of the plane, which will be also in the water. And then I'm just adding some details. We have another hut right here on the coast and a fishing pier to catch some sharks. <laughs> okay, and another hut right there. And now, well, we have another important pier, which is, well, not really important, important, but it's visually quite important. It is sticking and pointing to Coral Castle, uh, placed on the hillside right over Coral Castle. This is bright blue and we will mix it with white. I used the noodle machine for this, which is now also available in the online store on clayclaim.com. And you can use it um, perfectly to get very thin layers of clay. Um, or also to mix different colors together. I stopped at three repetitions because I still wanted to, to see some, some white and also some bright blue and that they are not mixed up because it's a waterfall. <laughs> and now we add some bubbling water, some white clay and I'll stick some tiny holes in this. And this has two reasons. 
first of all, it looks like foam. It looks beautiful, almost like on a real coast landscape area. Second reason is um, through these tiny holes, hopefully the water can float away, can seep away that Atlantis, <coughs> I mean Coral Castle, is not drowning. But we will find out if this works. Now I am working on this outline, which is also a barrier for the water, which we will add. I just wanted to be really sure. And I thought we could test this. And even before oven hardening, because now we can change the height of the waterfalls. Okay. It looks like some water found its way to the lower level. Um, we should fix that. Also the waterfall on the left side looks too high. And after fixing, we are ready to go into the oven. In the meantime, we can work on some details. We have to create all the corals. We have two different colors of corals. Then we have the pine trees. And I think I forgot about one fishing pier. But let's first start with the first color of corals. And I think I found a good way to create them. What, what do you say? Do you like the shape of the corals? Does it look like corals? Or does it look just like some clay I randomly smashed in some holes? <laughs> well, it looks somehow organic. This is what I really like. So these shapes were not made um, intentionally. In the background you can really hear the song we've been listening to a lot today. Some orange, brown and ochre will give us this beautiful bright brown for all the tree trunks for the pine trees. In total I think we have almost 40, 40 pine trees. Hopefully I don't forget an important one. Yeah, I'll speed this up because it really took like an hour to create all these pine trees. Beautiful, another hour to listen to the choral chorus. So beautiful. Look at all the pine trees, which we will put into the oven. In the meantime, I forgot about one important spot. I drilled a hole right there. It's the drain of Atlantis, which I totally forgot about, and this is quite important. Because, well, if we don't have this hole, Atlantis will drown again. And it's gone again, and we are ready to go into the oven. Freshly baked Coral Castle! Well, <clears throat> if this should be Atlantis, it should be way, way bigger. Yeah. This is my opinion on this. Not just to put one crashed airplane onto this spot, but like 10 some um, sinking ships. Yeah. Oh, oh, what happened? We need to glue this. I'm using my hot glue for this. Now that we remove the baking sheet, let's take all these beautiful corals in two different colors and we can glue them onto our map. The one right there. I try to be as accurate as possible, but not for this working step. I just took a green pen and adding some more plants some seaweed hanging around and these are the very first pine trees we are placing we are populating these beautiful islands i'm using the super glue for this it's very fast drying we have this fishing pier right there another one in the front which also looks quite beautiful and now this is the baking sheet the wooden pieces are just support for the creation to stand on. Then we have the water pipe. 
And let's see if this works. No water. Is it broken? Maybe we we add a little bit more. There! There is the water coming out. Okay, it was just um, too less water. The water level wasn't high enough. Maybe we can take this straw, making the fountain a little longer, because then we can drill a tiny hole into the creation and making a way for the water. Okay, this should work. Oops, another hole in my table. <laughs> Just imagine in 10 years what my desk will look like. We will put the straw inside. Okay. Now carefully. This should be the perfect height. You're sticking it into the pump. It's working! Okay, now let's see what is happening. The water is finding its way. It's floating around. This will be the last waterfall. Maybe we add a little bit more water. Oh, oh, there's a lot of water. Look at Coral Castle. Oh no, it's underwater. Maybe we can drill some holes that the water on the lower level can flow away faster. One hole isn't enough. We need some more holes. <laughs> okay. Maybe five, six holes. It's, it's draining off. The water is going away on the lower level. I'm adding a little bit of soap for a beautiful <laughs> water foam effect. Mm. Beautiful smell. Guys, I guess. That's it! Coral Castle! I hope you enjoyed this video creating Coral Castle in this baking sheet with a lot of real water. Take care, stay healthy, stay creative. See you soon. Bye. Yeah.